I hope you have a lovely day. So uh, it's a nice day today and I thought I'm going to film some videos or hauls and reviews actually because I have so much stuff to talk about. Uh, so if you are interested in project planning, makeup, beauty, skincare related content, please consider subscribing. My name is Turner. Welcome to my beauty verse. So today I am actually going to do a review about the Beautylish Lucky Bag and also a short review about my a locker PO box that I have in the US so that you're aware of why I'm I'm going to talk about both companies sometimes I will mix up maybe the names but you, so you, you are aware of it so I have actually a lucky bag from 2021 here um, they were sent out in January and you might think about why do are you reviewing it now and um, the thing was I actually had it in my locker in the US for quite some time and then I waited to get it shipped to me um, short review about uh, the PO box that I'm using or the company that I'm using for this kind of purchases uh, is actually the company is called Chipito and what you can do is you can sign up for a year to them and you rent actually a locker box or PO box with a physical address and whenever I do shopping in the US to get my hands on some products which are not launched here in Europe or UK or I you know I want to get those things I actually use at some retailers my American address the PO box address and then I can get the stuff here and the good thing about Chibito is you have the chance to get as much as many you know um, parcels that you want of course physically it has to fit in your locker but you can have 10 you know at I think at one time I had over 10 different boxes or per parcels actually there and then they consolidate for you and you pay of course less shipping costs when you want to get that uh, that boxes or that one box you know from the US to your home country so you save it but of course customs is another thing you might pay high customs depending on the value that you have declared so you always have to you know declare a customs declaration um, or fill it in the thing is it is very good in that regards because I can do some shopping you know at Beautylish at other companies which are not usually uh, available here in Europe so and I did that, you know, and I asked actually Shipito to empty my locker. So they were sending me then several months ago, three, diff three big boxes. So I'm going to do, that's why I'm going to do a lot of hauls, uh, you know, but I will schedule those hauls at the beginning of the month. So you will see always a haul. Oops, I did it again. Uh, this was before I started, you know, my car YouTube channel my career, <laughs> uh, before, you know, about project planning, makeup use and so on. So uh, that's why you will see a lot of makeup, you know, in my hands. But this is not about makeup shaming or so or else we wouldn't do project planning. That's why we wouldn't have a big project planning company if we all didn't have, you know, so much makeup, you know, lying around. Anyway, so I'm going to start now to talk about the Beautylish Lucky Bag. And why I think sometimes it's worth to buy it, so why I think it is not worth to buy it. First of all, what is a lucky bag? You know, Lucky Beauty she was so smart enough, they took an exotic concept, exotic uh, concept in that sense from Japan. Because in Japan, you have the tradition that you put things into a lucky bag uh, uh, with regards to, you know, the person who is getting that lucky bag will be surprised because they don't know what they will get. So this is a concept behind that. And what Lucky, uh, what Beautylish actually does is they just take, you know, products which they have sold, you know, successfully or not successfully, and they put it in one bag. And the thing is they have like three or four different bags now, or uh, let's say, let's call them class of bags. You know, the first bag or the first class category in that, with that regards is uh, the regular one. So the regular one say uh, retails for $75 uh, with five or $10 shipping cost, And um, you can get uh, worth to, I think $150 worth of makeup or product, uh, beauty products. Yeah. So then we have the one upper category, which is a lucky bag XXL. So you pay $150, you pay, I think, $15 or $10 shipping costs. And that one is only available in the US. I will tell you why it is only available in the US and what it means for you guys, you know, if you want to get your hands on uh, the Lucky Bag XXL. This uh, and the worth of it can be 
500 600 dollars you know if you look up the reviews on youtube sometimes people have over 700 dollars of uh, worth of makeup or beauty uh, beauty products in those lucky bags so uh, you can be that lucky of course um if you want to but then they have also the third category uh, which is only dedicated to jeffree star you can buy lucky bags you know i think maybe one lucky bag if i'm not mistaken i don't know if they have a jeffree star regular bag uh regular lucky bag regular as well as a lucky bag xxl i'm not sure about it but you can buy his products so um that's the thing you know besides that if jeffree star you know jeffree star is controversial but people are buying his products and future you know as a big makeup company uh, not they are not producing it but as big makeup retailer makeup beauty show, you know beauty products retailer they know what they are selling so um, they try to push of course this kind of lucky bags uh, in mass and you have the chance always like uh, uh, lucky bag I say beautylish always sends up an, uh, sends an email you can sign up for it and then you sign up for it and then they will inform you you know that the sale has started so you have to be very quick to get it sometimes the uh, lucky bag xxl sells out as uh, first than the others um, the good thing about the lucky bags uh, is that you can actually tell beautylish look don't mix products in which don't fit my skin tone for example you can say when you are buying the lucky bag you are a fair you are a medium skin tone or you are a dark skin tone so and then Beautylish will try to accommodate your skin tone or you with choosing the products which fit your skin tone because it will actually um, you know make people unhappy if they would get products which don't fit their skin tone so that's why they also did these categories also for the lucky bag XXL you can choose I'm not sure about the you know Jeffree Star's but I think Jeffree Star's makeup is so colorful I think everybody can wear it whatever anyway so the thing is you can get it now one thing for our people here in Europe and other countries. If you want to get your hands on the Lucky Bag XXL, you can use Shipito. Uh, there's an affiliate link down below if you want to sign up for it. Thank you very much. Um, you give Beautylish your PO box, they will send it to you. But the risk is on your side. Uh, what do I mean with risk? For example, uh, several years ago, I was very, very lucky that I got that I got actually I, I just needed to you know put my hands on it because there was a battery uh, showing up now um, battery notification showing up um, that I could get actually a hair product collection from Oribe with uh, which included a conditioner a shampoo as well as a dry shampoo but the dry shampoo was an aerosol spray usually you are not allowed to you know to have those shipped to you via air mail because they can explode in the air whatsoever it's a high risk so you're not allowed to do that but uh, i tried to actually get, get shipito to take it out of the thing because i i knew or my you know i i was i i i was really having the intuition that there is something like that in it and i wanted to ask them can you please check you know but then it was too late they already sent it to me with other products which i have bought and i was like oh yeah cut it but nobody checked on me so not the customs checked on that one and also i didn't get any you know fine because again um depending on the shipping company you know the shipping company in the sense of dhl or shibito has their own carrier there which they or services that they use or dpd or fedex or whoever they could find you because they are not allowed to ship this kind of stuff also perfume you know if you um if you buy perfume you know you are not allowed to have it shipped because it's a flammable so that's why for example you have to pay with dhl you have to pay 95 dollars uh, for you know having it specially packed what they do is actually they take a bag put sand in it put the perfume in it wrap close the bag and then put it in a box i had the situation when i bought you know samples from uh, mini perfumes from kvd or kat van d at the time and i forgot that i cannot you know ship it to me physically but i still bought them and then i had to pay this kind of you know cost so it's very expensive that's why it's a little bit tricky to buy the lucky bag xxl because you are in you have the responsibility you know that if something happens or if uh, you know the product is shipped to you and you get caught whatsoever that you might have to pay a fine Bes i'm not talking about the you know, regular customs we all have to pay customs now in europe because they say no matter what worth is in the parcel or declared in the declaration notice you have to pay um 
custom duties and they can be really really hefty so be aware of it anyway um now with regards to the products i want to talk about uh, or i want to show you what i got actually from last year or from this year and what i think will be actually also in the boxes for this year because uh, the or lucky bags they, they you know there's always a repetition going on and you will see uh you know is it worth it or you or you can make the, your determination is it worth it or not but let's go ahead so I will start actually with some little stuff so that you can see what I got and then I will go to the more expensive stuff because I already saw what I got and you can decide for yourself if you want to you know this is now a lucky bag regular one because I was not quick enough to get my hands on the XXL ones um, you know I will try it this year so if you have the chance to sign up for you know beauty dish um, newsletter and then they will also inform me if you want to get the lucky bag or not anyway um, the thing is with Beautylish they also start to you know push products or put products into the lucky bags which are not that uh, famous enough or companies that are not famous enough but they are getting famous enough because the people are talking about it one thing is now for example good molecules the company itself I think they started out as a kind of competitor to the ordinary with cheap skincare you know but high quality ingredients as the ordinary does and the ordinary is owned by Estee Lauder so I think this company is owned by um, by Beautylish itself so and of course a lot of high profile youtubers beauty youtubers are talking about Beautylish as well as you know the good molecule stuff and they try to get those products to the regular people for me it's not you know to be honest with you it's not worth it to buy good molecules separately because the thing is for skincare which costs like let's say five or six dollars I can get the ordinary here locally from Douglas from the one makeup store that I, I already hold stuff and I pay six euros with any with no other additional costs for me no customs no shipping whatsoever I mean shipping is free when you order for up a certain uh, you know value so therefore you know it's not worth it to buy but you know if they would come for example to cult beauty but cult beauty is a competitor of beautylish don't think that will happen so uh you will, will not see you know good molecules i guess so far here in local stores except they would really push it to selfridges or any other big retailer or whoever is out there so good molecules and this is the yerba made wake up eye gel Again, you will get this kind of stuff, guaranteed. What else do I have or did I get received? Now, this one, it's a, per, no, it's not a perfume. It's a, you know, in a pump, uh, in a spray bottle and it's from the brand Rosen. It's a Paloma serum. Paloma is Spanish for a uh, um, pigeon. I don't know why, but they call it like that, but it's a glycolic acid and white willow bark. AHA BHA serum for scars and textures I have some scars I have some texture on my skin and this is only 57 uh, grams so you see the quantities that they send also is below the 100 ml so you know in total for example you can send out maybe 100 one liter of liquid products if I'm not mistaken so uh, beautifully with the lucky bags they try to have you know the small stuff you know in weight wise smaller stuff sent out okay then what else do i have here then i have here from r plus co i think this brand i saw it already in other places uh, here in europe it's a cactus texturizing shampoo in a little bottle good for traveling would i buy it myself not sure if the price is okay yes maybe but from a local retailer not from Beautylish if I have to pay customs and shippings on it on top of it it's not worth it for me to buy it yeah what else now we are get, getting to the so these are three little things okay and I have four more and those are now the higher price categories or higher price products that I'm going to show you so we have here hourglass you know a lip oil treatment hourglass as you know is expensive and uh, they are also in a big mess or not in a big mess but they were talked about that they were not so inclusive with their palettes that they don't have you know anything uh, for darker skin tones and so on or deeper skin tones so um they are trying to make up for it you know publishing actually 
um, now you know uh, palettes with darker skin tones or suitable for darker skin tones so we will see how it will be there you know they were privately owned in a sense or you know, but now they are owned i think uh, by johnson and johnson if i'm not mistaken so we don't know what johnson and johnson will do about them so let's see if i'm talking too much or giving you too much background information just take it you know because Nobody else is going to tell you that. So what else do I have? Now, I don't know if you heard about Surat, um, Surat Makeup or Surat Beauty. Surat is actually also a makeup artist, still alive, of course. And um, he was working with Kevin O'Quan. And um, I don't know if he was Kevin O'Quan's protege or not, but I got now a lip lacquer in this fancy packaging because there's a little, you know, thing that you can just, you know, lift it and then it will take out um the product itself so this is the cream lip um, stick and it's in a quite um interesting color it looks purple it looks brown it has some glitter in it because it's sh or shimmer in it because i can see that there is some white particles in it and it's in the shade sato ume so not sure what it, may, it sounds like a japanese name could be um, and it's also in a nice paper wrap so and um, Surat Beauty they have hefty prices so for example one brush $100 or something like that I'm like uh, no I'm not going to pay it even though there might be some quality about it but you know these days everybody's producing brushes in Japan so it's not that you know interesting anymore you know to buy another expensive brush uh, from you know from a makeup company which produces in japan because everybody produces it in japan so besides that brushes good topic or good actually you know uh, bridge to um to the brushes because the thing is with the lucky bag you if you want to try out brushes you can actually buy the lucky bag why because there's always a brush you know, so I think some people got actually like the brow set from Wayne Goss. So you will always get a brush either from Sonia G. This is a Sonia G brush, but it's, yeah, it says crease one and it says also Japan. So it's this nice reddish color or the ombre color coloring. So you always get one brush. Well, the only thing that I don't like about the packaging wise is look, this is now in this cheap plastic. Of course, there's a Japanese character. It says in Kumano Fude. I think that's the actual brand or the actual factory which uh, makes the, uh, you know, handmade uh, brushes. But yeah, it is the only downside to the, the to the brushes because they are coming in, you know, they are expensive, but then they are coming in this kind of, you know, uh, plastic. I would expect to have something like a individual packaging or something like that but not this kind of you know cheap plastic around it anyway so if you are expecting brushes always weighing goss and sonia g if i'm not mistaken they might put in chikohodo but i have not seen so many people get in chikohodo or uh the other brand hak hakuodo so you have to wait and the good thing about it is actually you always get a palette so I was lucky last time or several now I'm participating for f at least I think three four years I always got the palette so I got the face palette from uh, by Terry I got actually also um, Natasha Denona uh, you know uh, the five shadows the little palettes so you always get an eyeshadow palette so sometimes you are lucky sometimes they give you the 28 uh, you know eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona so they give you a higher price item so in my case now I have the already this palette so but I'm I got it again so this is the Natasha Denona love palette and I'm going to use this one in my kit you know because I got it already so and uh, this one I'm going to use in my kit um, now I'm going to back to the topic with Jeffree Star Jeffree Star uh, if you are not a big fan of him um, you know you or if you are a big fan of him of course you buy the lucky bag jeffree star lucky bag but the thing was last time what happened to me um i actually bought the lucky bag and i was like okay fine you know i got it then but then i was surprised because i had the jeffree star the blue you know the blue big big bulky palette in my regular in my regular jeffree star uh, jeffree star in my 
uh, you know, regular lucky bag. And I was surprised about it, but I didn't complain about it because it's, you know, what I got, what I got. So, but be a warning. I mean, I don't know if uh, Vutilish uh, received uh, backlash for it or not, if they continue with that, but it can happen that you sometimes get, you know, things that you don't like in this lucky bag. And um, sometimes, of course, there are things that you can try out new for example these three brands here i mean good molecules i already tested it but not this product and um, this rosen spray uh, or rosen glycolic acid i've never tried it and also this company i've never tried it so and it's a but it's a good chance for you to try out this stuff and see if you like it or not so if you are interested in more of these kind of reviews please let me know i will try to do them but for the next couple of times i will try to update actually my project panning stuff or content more i neglected that one and you will see more holes for me so it might be that you see me in the same outfit but then the holes are as i said at scheduled at the beginning of the month and you might think oh she's doing now the holes i did i filmed them today anyway thank you very much for watching have a good day bye bye